Ooh, sandbox content unlocked. We're going to be able to do a sandbox mode. That's going to be exciting. All right. Uh... Let's see. Having secured the roof over the heads of the London, London citizens, we set south to Kent. We've been told to rebuild the old military airport and transform it into a civilian structure. It will be used in transit between Britain and France. Okay, let's get started. Dealing with the damages of London took lots of work and time. The capital is still yet to be fully rebuilt. But we left, knowing residents of the city have their accommodation and safety secured. They're taking us south to Kent. There is a small military airport near Lim, severely damaged during the Battle of Britain due to its proximity to the continent. I remember visiting this airport with my family. Between the wars, it was in civilian use. There were light aircraft trials my brother used to participate in. Now. The government needs this place to become the air ferry port between the kingdom and France. After the war, the supplies must fly both ways on a daily basis. We're going to make it possible. Lastly, during the war, the local landowner let the army use one of his mansions as a jail for some very important German POW. The house must be prepared to be used by the original owner. Known as the HMS Daedalus II, was under a great threat of air raids. At some point, no unit stationed here permanently and became a stopover base. Now the airfield returns to civilian use. Once a flying school, now will become a ferry station connecting Britain and France. During the war, there was a plan to transport the kidnapped high-ranked Nazi official here, trying to find out who he was. Exciting. Abilities to spend. Let's do that real quick. Yes, bigger brush size, please. Uh, don't really particularly care about hammer throw. Uh, I got the pocket as big as I could, which does not feel like very big. Starting funds, walking speeds. Let's enlarge that. Point to go. Yes, detection range sounds good. Him to grind the new mechanic. There. Put item to paint. Interesting. Climb up this. Oh, I really wanted to climb up it. I almost beat myself up. Cleaned up, destroyed hang. You know, I may complain each level about how hard it is to find the uh, collectibles, but I actually secretly really like that they're not that easy to find. As as weird as that may sound. And so. Yes. That's going, Tor. That's going to knock down that building. Hi! Hi, neighbors. I'm just here to help clean things up. You can go back to work. It's okay. You don't have to stand still for me. I just wanted to make sure to say hi. Alright. 
Let's uh, put rubble in our hands. Kick off this cutscene down here. This is a big map. Oh! <laughs> I, I can't help but notice the bigger maps aren't doing well with loading in the assets. But it, that's... Yes. We'll let it go. We'll let it go. Remember how I said in the previous level uh, that it's really forgiving about what you're cleaning? Not so much. Poster. Women, uh, the Royal Air Force needs their help. Oop, ambient sounds of airplanes. Pretty cool. Hi, purple flowers. Oh. <laughs> I guess I should look at the flowers more often. <laughs> I was nowhere near being done, but I uh, got distracted with purple flowers. Not seeing dirty spots though. Oh no! This one took some damage. Break. Hopefully our character is wearing some kind of face shield because they just took a 2x4 to the face.
wood. I sort of knew that. I wasn't anticipating needing wood. So, we'll finish up. It's got to come. Pretty peaceful area, though. Instead of being poor hangar being bombed. To destroy it's broken first. I do like the thought process behind what they were doing here, why these ha houses at the back here were damaged because of the destroying of that hangar. Appreciate it. And I must do something because... Pop up. Ah, I see. So after I finished London, I rolled right into this, uh, this level here. Oh, you guys remember from the, uh, London episode, I'm craving carne asada. I am still craving carne asada. <laughs> I would also settle for sushi as well. I have neither. Get what today's day is. I think today's Saturday. I think. Um. Interestingly enough, it. Oh my God! <laughs> I. I think it's because you were glowing yellow that you scared me. Not gonna miss that place, I'm telling you. Okay. Alright. This place? Is this what you were talking about? No. <laughs> oh, he startled me. Where did he come from? I thought he was standing there the whole time. It's just in its own way a little creepy. Oh, here's the man gun. Who are yous? No chatty? No chatty chatty. Alright. Well. 
the way of that. Am I... Go that way. Select. There's from the wing commanders. Secrets of the right. According to the intel from Bulgaria, the airspace will be breached by the German courier Omenman the third on March 25th. If I mispronounce anything, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to. I recall the current action plan. Do not open fire at the unit. Provide a place for landing. Immediately after landing, inspect the machine and passengers by standard procedures. Then arrest the passengers and imprison them in the prepared residence lent to the RAF by a private entity. Ensure that prisoners are housed in separate rooms as planned. Uh, the hands bar a defecting pilot in the northern bedroom. Uh, Adolf Hilter, Hitler in the southern. Hi. Cut these bars, would you? This house can't look like this anymore. Well, oh, that's why it's telling us about the bars. Alright. This is editing me. I did some research while I was doing the editing. And so I'm going to read you uh, a little bit of a paragraph from the Wikipedia. In 1941, Lymphney was to be the destination for the landing of an aircraft carrying Adolf Hitler and a daring kidnap plot. A man by the name of Kurov had given information to the British military attache in Sofia, Bulgaria, that he was the brother-in-law of Hans Barr, the personal pilot of Hitler. He stated that Barr was planning to defect using Hitler's aircraft with him on board. The RAF made plans to receive the aircraft, and on March 25th was the date that the defection was expected to occur. He did not defect, instead spending the rest of the war as Hitler's personal pilot. Oh. I'm stuck in the bushes. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Dude, you are feeling awfully brave about walking in front of me while I'm holding this torch. Bars are cut off. 
down there. Great. <laughs> In this house. So someone was defecting. We were collecting them, I'm gonna guess? I'm gonna, before I leave, I will research it. You guys know if it's a, that's like a for real person. Don't know. I don't think I can go up there. We, the mirror's blacked out. <laughs> we, we, we don't exist, do we? Like, we don't have feet. We have no feet. Why can't I go over there? Uh-huh. I feel like that should be a place I should go. You know, especially with the headless statue. Oh, right here. Here, rally. Up down here. I don't think there's anything down here for me, but just... Oh. Listen, lad, I need the rest of the gear from the camp packed in the truck by yesterday. Would you help me with that? Find all the military items, I guess. Not gonna miss that place, I'm telling you. Uh, interesting. You see it take a minute to load in. Oh, same here. Where are we going? Find the key. Up. These are all. Oh, there's really nothing to see just other than it's a fighter pilot. Resting. Alright, gotta find a key. I don't know what that is. Back to that. I think I just flipped myself around. Maybe not. Yeah, I did. <laughs> When the screen flickered there for a second, I got confused and turned my sail for a ring. <laughs> Bunker open, so let's peek into them. Not that one. This one. I'm struggling just a little bit. A wee bit. There wasn't any notes in here, like military men.
We're collecting the things. We're collecting them. I don't know what direction I came from. Barrel, so somewhere. Oh, buddy, your ladder's broken. <laughs> that is your home now. You are stuck there forever and ever. <laughs> uh. Poor guy. <laughs> well, I can't climb the whole ladder, but... It's not letting me climb up it. I guess we'll come back. I feel like everything should be here and I'm just being blind. Just that key for that one guy. This building right here. Does it have a door? Oh, it does right here. <laughs> I'm mean, really concerned for the guys. Can't open any of them. Lockers. with trailers. Oh. oh. Interesting. Interesting. to go into that building. This building looks like it would have secrets, right? Buddy. Well, clearly not as many secrets as I thought I was going to have. That'd be a lot more interesting than this. Maybe not. Maybe there's something. Oh. Oh. Pilot. 
God's journal. Barely made it back this time. The Jerrys may be in retreat, but desperation makes them fiercer than ever. The air felt like the Battle of Britain all over again. They got Clover. I flew with his body the entire way back. They assigned Scott to fly with me. He has little experience, but he's a good lad. We may survive some flights together. God, I think I can still smell Clover's brain in the cockpit. William, the new recruit, I'm not even sure if he's 18, asked me if I could take him with the next transport to France. Bloody hell, the kids these days are really dafter than ever. He cried about how his posh daddy won't let him fight the grown-ups war, and that the commander can send him away any day now. Kicked him out of the tent. I'm not smuggling kids to the front. The little shit hid in the hold. We figured it out in French airspace. I almost threw him off the plane. The lads are fed up about being shot by the crots, but he still whines about going to the front, bothering everyone. When we landed, he slipped away from Scott and was lost in the camp. He has a death wish, that Billy. I have a sneaky suspicion, guys. We're going to follow the sad, sad story of William all the way through. That's not going to break my heart. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm no longer stuck. A second I got really scared and thought I was stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> I assumed it was hooked up, but it's not. I wish it had some weight to it, I guess. Being weird. Uh, side as well. You see me knock the car. Yeah, like I say, uh, this isn't my favorite. I prefer the uh, vehicle over. Uh, the big truck thing. Oh, yes. Okay, let's put this away. Curiosity. Let's go over this way real quick and let's. It is. It is over here. 
Figured. I'm so glad uh, that there's not a mechanic of having to worry about gas or anything like that. Or overheating. Uh, what game is it? Um, gas station simulator where it makes you worry about overheating. Oh, I hate that. I think we have this handy dandy truck right here. See it sink through the floor? That's not good. Let's bring this. Bring this over here. Let me free!
I appreciate the uh, the TARDIS nature of those bits. Letter from William's father. I'll read that in one second here. Hit unload. Uh, letter from here. Again, for your discretion, as for his misdemeanor, I am sure that the forgery of documents will not require official proceedings. My shun. <clears throat> My son has shown commendable zeal for serving the kingdom, and I see no reason why he should be punished for it. I will make sure he fulfills the service, but in a less dangerous environment than the HMS Daedalist II airport. William must be arrested and brought back home immediately, and under no circumstances should he be allowed to leave the country. I think you understand, Wing Commander, that the fulfillment of my request will lead to a cordial friendship between us, which may prove very beneficial to you. Looking for... Looking forward to your further cooperation, Sir Gregory. Mm. No. So hard to save William from himself. I had not expected from the game an entire story that we're going to be following. I I don't know what I thought. I thought it was just going to be uh, little bits of story or maybe uh, random stories, which there kind of is also, but I didn't expect a cohesive entire story about one person. And I respect and adore that the fact that the game has given us a story to follow through each map with one person. I appreciate that those crows could care less about the noise that I am making over here. They have no two rocks to give about anything. And I'm stuck. And I'm stuck. And I'm not stuck. I uh, um, fair enough.
work tables. Oh no. Simple as I thought. <laughs> I'm gonna need ladders. Alright. I am not a fan of this ladder. Major question of the day. Do that. Fill my inventory with metal. Take all the reasons. Just in case. Just in case something happens while we're up there that requires something more than just the metal. All of them would make this so much easier if I could. Yeah, I can. Some of them I can just walk right through. <laughs> so close yet, so far away. All right. Um, I can't. Back up we go. Oh, no! I said up, oh, not down. Is the game on to my shenanigans? Like, <laughs> no. What a fault. Ah. Oh. Lucky that time. I better be careful. I don't. If I fall down there, I don't think I can back out. So I think there is an unstuck feature. Oh! See that? Oh no, I don't have. I got all the way up here and I don't have enough metal. Oh, poopy. Poopies.
Maybe I'll do this the smart way, maybe. Over. bright but handy that wasn't that bad I made it worse just because I keep refusing to use the ladder like a dork all right building materials and then uh, oh, I guess I'll craft one but I don't know what I'd be crafting one Oh, I need to go to, uh, over there, over there, oh. Collect a so interesting enough, the uh, the control button, the selectable or the thing that highlights things that are missing, does highlight that on this map. I guess if it's big enough to see, but it took the bar, I guess, over here, but. I think I did it. So the money up on top that we've been earning every level seems to uh, reset every time we walk into a new map. Are we banking that somewhere, or just does it have very little meaning? Ace of Repair. I think I'm done here.
Oh, I don't know if I'm... Hopefully it won't let me mess up. <laughs> Thank goodness that we don't have to worry about, like, pink buckets and all that jazz. Yeah, it's not letting me mess up. I'm holding the mouse button down. It's, it's controlling where it goes. <laughs> Are you dizzy yet? I feel like I kind of am. <laughs> Easy. Uh, this game is being very kind about some of the repetitive tasks. Like, so many other uh, games like this would have made me pick up the stakes one by one. Sort of look like a Buster Road. I think it was just a rock. The way the sun glared on it, it looked like something to collect, but... Room, room. This little baby goes. There and knows what it wants.
Hopefully that means I only need to do this once with the ladders for the roof. There we go. Wood. Metal. Loud roof day. Why do I? I still am missing one more item, readable item. Done. Uh, Dren. Can you explain? Okay, so find all the, oh, all the military items. Decorate. So I'm guessing I am still missing. We're still missing that key, so let's go. Still missing three jet fuel. Where's Rookie? He didn't leave with any previous transport. A long move. Ah. Five barrels. Five barrels of jet fuel. Kill for a shepherd's pie right now. I think uh, we'll become a civilian ferry to France. God, I don't want to see this country ever again. We've been through hell here. Rookie was to help me loading, but he's nowhere to be seen. You have a good job rebuilding and repairing with your own hands, seeing things going back to normal. Thanks to your work must feel really nice. I carry a gun and I drive. <laughs> Alright. So I am missing some bad fuel. My only thing is that it's down in the bunker. Oh! I found a key! Bunker key found. All right, let's go do this. Jesus Christ, thank you. Oh, we found the rookie. Did rookie get... Did he get stuck? <laughs> you see how fast he lit out of here? He's like, I've been here forever. Alright. No note down here, which makes me sad. Yeah. 
No note. I was really hoping there was down here. Good thing you opened the door. I took a little nap in the bunker, and when I woke up, the door was shut! They call me Rookie. There are many new recruits since I started my service here, but I am the Rookie. One and only. My good buddy Billy ran away from here in 44, poor bastard. Lost his girl in London. Lend a fiver, would you? I should be collecting gear for the barracks for the driver, but I need to rest from all that stress, you know? I'll kill for a shepherd pie. One. Oh, wait, I see a note. Hilarious. We were in secrets of lim I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, flying school? Alright. I still have a hidden task. You discover decorate the area, furniture seat, table small items. Right, maybe the hidden task is still that main. Like, oh, I'll leave that there. I regret it. This is editing me as I'm walking around. I pose the question of, I wonder why I can't go through this fence to look at this mansion. And that is because, due to due to the consequences of Second uh, World War, it was actually abandoned and stayed re abandoned until 1973, when it was purchased and added as for a private zoo, uh, and then turned later into a hotel, uh, bed and breakfast type of place. I want to know why I can't go through here. Um, dude, I have a crow on your head. I don't want to startle you or anything, but, uh, you have a friend. It doesn't seem mean. You need to double check that nothing has been left here. The house is getting back into private hand. 41, the German defector was to land here with some important Nazi. They were going to live here, hence the bar and the windows. I didn't serve here at the time, and I don't know who they were, but the old boys say that nothing came of it. Have you seen our bunkers? It's dark and stinky inside. A man can get a proper nap there. When I'm released from service, I'll live in the forest or something like that. I'm sick of staring at the sky. Know what else to do? A gas. Something to do with this uh, antenna. Take a sneaky gas. Not thing up here. Uh, have the antenna up here.
I have a hidden task. I guess maybe fix the antenna? I don't know. Didn't need to craft one. the new worker look at the antenna up there it's all messed up fix it if you please what is an air traffic control tower with the messed up all right we, we did that all the crows man done there oh okay done all right so all we have is to decorate uh, furniture. I mean, I guess that building there, the waiting room. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see, I see. Um, one, three. for that. I thought this was going to look like some since I feel a little bad that I made it, but we'll make it work.
benches, but benches. Two, four, five, six. What do we got? Great. Small items. Let's see if this is enough or if I need to make more. I want to be on there, that's for sure. Papers there. Oop, we did it. Wouldn't have to go that crazy. All phone. All right, we are all done. Hey, uh, I'm gonna check really quick. All done. Got all the posters. Awesome possum. We are still in the United Kingdom. We are now okay. We are now in the Belfast shipyard, uh, which will be our next map. Belfast seems so far away, yet the Nazis managed to send their bombers even there to destroy, to destroy shipyards, building vessels for the Royal Navy. My task is to conduct the repairs near the dock where the infamous Titanic was made. All right, this will be our next one. Thanks for keeping me company, guys.